what we are going to learn today uh, is about the micro bit. Now, as you know, this is a very small uh, board, right? But it is a very powerful uh, thing. OK, so in this circuit, <clears throat> micro bit circuit, you have some features very attractive, very interesting. So you can do about a million things with this uh, small circuit. Right? So these are the things that you have in micro bit. So you have 25 individually programmable LEDs here. So when we program, uh, we can um, see our output to these programmable LEDs. OK, then you have these buttons here. So we can program uh, uh, for up these buttons right on the press of the buttons. Uh, we can run it. OK, uh, then we have physical connection pins here. Here are some pins so we can connect other devices into these pins, right? using those uh, crocodile cables, you know, right? So <clears throat> let's see them uh, later. We will talk about them. Then uh, you have light and uh, temperature sensors also. So the, it can detect the temperature and the light. So we can make programs uh, for that also. <clears throat> then you have an accelerator and a compass. With this accelerator, you can detect the uh, motion, okay? and the compass okay and uh, you have wireless communication via radio and bluetooth you have radio signals you can send radio signals to this so uh, and uh, bluetooth is also there so you can connect this to your tablet or your phone right so this is like a small computer and you have a usb interface also right so now let's look at let's look at a video of uh, uh, this uh, an introduction of this, right? Let's see uh, what these uh, parts can do. We will look at it more, okay? Some more, right? So I'm going to share the sound of it. Right. Okay. I'm going to <clears throat> share my computer sound. Right. Hope you can hear it. Right. This is using the micro bit, including setting up your micro bit. The and Features of the micro bit and some ideas on how this tiny tool can be used in your classroom to teach a variety of topics and help students complete their learning goals. Let's get started. A micro bit is a tiny programmable computer designed to make learning and teaching easy and fun. Studies have found that using physical computing devices like the micro bit in the classroom increases motivation, collaboration, creativity, and results in concrete understanding of programming concepts. In addition, the micro bit can be used to teach concepts in many subject areas, including math, science, engineering, and even arts. When you receive your micro bit, it will come in a box like this. Open the box and you will find a getting started guide and important safety instructions. Under the guides, there's a small bag. This bag contains your micro bit. This is the front, and this is the back. If you lift up the cardboard, you will find a USB connector to connect the micro bit to your PC, two AAA batteries, and a battery pack. When you are using your micro bit, you can power the micro bit using your USB cable or with the battery pack and batteries. Before you connect your micro bit, be sure to read the safety instructions that are found in the box. Once you have read the safety instructions, plug your micro bit into your computer 
by inserting the rectangle USB plug into a USB port on your computer. Then plug the other end into your microbit. When you connect your microbit to your computer, you will notice that your microbit lights up. This is the beginning of the demo display. Your microbit will say hello, and then it will prompt you to press button A, followed by button B. So we'll press button A, and then we'll press button B. Your microbit will then say shake. If you shake your microbit, you will see a light display The last part of the demo says chase, and what it means by chase is that it wants you to take a solid light and chase a blinking light. So you'll see a solid light and a blinking light, and you need to tilt your micro bit so you can have the solid light chase or find the blinking light. And you'll do that about once or twice until it's all done. The demo we just saw shows just a few of the things we can program the micro bit to do. We will delve into two options for coding with microbit in our next videos. But first, let's go over the parts of the microbit and how they work. The most distinct part of the microbit is the light display, which is on the front of the microbit. The light display is made up of a 5x5 five five grid of LEDs, which stand for light emitting diodes, and can be programmed to display various words and designs. You can program the display to turn off or dim the brightness of the LEDs. There is also a yellow light on the back of your micro bit. This light will flash to indicate that something has changed, like when you upload a new code on the micro bit. On either side of the LED display on the front of your micro bit, you will see a button. These buttons are labeled A and B and are used as input for the micro bit. The micro bit can detect which button is pressed and react to the button press or send information to another device, depending on how you have programmed your micro bit. The button on the back of the micro bit, next to the USB connector, is the reset button. You can use this button to start your uploaded code from the beginning. The micro bit has a built-in compass that can be used to measure the magnetic fields around the micro bit and determine the direction the micro bit is facing. This feature can be used to turn the micro bit into a compass or to send directional information to another device, like a robot. The micro bit has a built-in accelerometer, which is used for detecting specific motions and the speed of the micro bit. Using the accelerometer, the micro bit can detect when someone shakes, tilts, or even drops the device. There are endless ways you can use this feature in your program, such as creating a pedometer that measures each step taken, or measuring the acceleration of an object by attaching the micro bit to a car and sliding it down a ramp, or even just measuring the movement like a shake of the micro bit to simulate the roll of a die, like the example I've uploaded here. Each time you shake the micro bit, the accelerometer detects the movement and the micro bit displays a random number from one to six. On the bottom of the micro bit, you will notice a ruler looking feature with holes and labels. These are called pins. There are a total of 25 pins, which are separated into small pins and large pins. You will mostly be using the large pins, which are the pins with the holes labeled 0, 1, 2, 3V, which stands for 3 volts, and G and D, which stands for ground. Pins 0, 1, and 2 are general purpose input and output pins, abbreviated GPIO. These pins can be used for both input and output and can be connected to various devices such as thermometers or speakers using alligator clips. You can also use 4 millimeter banana plugs instead if you have those. When connecting your devices using alligator clips, be sure to get the board between the jaws of the clips without overlapping any of the smaller pins. You don't want to overlap the smaller pins. If you overlap with the smaller pins, this may prevent your code from working properly. So make sure that you only connect the big pins in any way without overlapping. Pins labeled 3V and G and D are the power supply pins. Make sure you never directly connect these pins together. The 3V pin allows you to power another device, or if you're 
Microbit is not already being powered by your computer through the USB cable or external batteries. It can be used to receive power from another device. Ground is used to complete the circuit if you are using your three volts to power another device. There are many possibilities for lessons using the input and output pins to connect the microbit to other devices, such as having your students connect their microbit to a speaker and program it to play a song, or connecting the microbit to a moisture sensor and detecting the moisture level of soil. The small pins are the unlabeled segments between the large pins on your microbit. These pins are beyond the scope of this video, but if you want to learn more, please visit the URL on the bottom of the screen to see a labeled diagram and learn the function of each pin. On the back of your microbit, you can see the labeled BLE antenna, which stands for Bluetooth Low Energy Antenna. This antenna allows the microbit to communicate with other devices, such as your phone or tablet, wirelessly by sending and receiving signals to and from that device. If you are using multiple microbit devices in the classroom, you can take advantage of the radio feature as well. The antenna also can be used to communicate wirelessly via radio waves to other nearby microbits. Some examples of ways this feature can be used include playing games in teams like rock, paper, scissors, or as an activity in a lesson to determine how viruses spread from person to person. The possibilities are endless. It's up to you what you decide to do. The microbit microprocessor chip, the brains of the microbit, has the capability to detect changes in temperature. While it does not have its own temperature sensor, the microprocessor chip, which can be found on the back of the board, can detect changes in temperature. This means that while the microbit may not be accurate, accurate at recording the true temperature and may be off by a degree or two. It is precise and therefore great at measuring the change in temperature. You can calibrate the microbit to make it more accurate by comparing its temperature reading to an external thermometer and adjusting the code to offset the difference. You can also connect the microbit to an external temperature sensor using the input and output pins. Now that you have learned the basic features of the microbit, you can move on to lesson two where we will teach you how to program the microbit using JavaScript. If you are not planning on using JavaScript and will be using Python instead, you can go straight to lesson three. Thank you for watching Hackster Live. We hope you join us again soon. Okay, right. So <clears throat> did you understand what she said? Yes. Yes. Sir. So now uh, each of these each of these um, things that are in the microbit were explained clearly. OK, I will uh, send you the video later so you can uh, watch it again. Right. So uh, the things uh, that she said, I will uh, uh, go through them again once more. Some of them, the radio and the Bluetooth uh, that she explained. So with the radio signals, so you have a uh, you can um, I mean, if you have multiple microbits, let's see in our class, if you have multiple microbits, oh, yes, you can um, communicate. I, I mean, you can uh, communicate with the, each other with the microbits, okay? Right? And uh, for example, uh, you can show how a virus is spread uh, through that, uh, through a program. For example, OK, likewise mm, using uh, multiple microbits so you can use radio waves for that. There's a feature like that also and you have Bluetooth so you can connect to the, uh, the I mean, other devices, your phone and all. Um, so that's all. So how the buttons are uh, working. So you saw them more. So now let's go to program our micro bit okay so what you can do is if you have your browser i mean if you are using your computer you can go to your browser and type uh, make code dot micro bit dot org everybody if you have your browsers you can type make code dot micro bit dot org okay then you will get a a website like this. Did you get one? Uh, Madam, if, if uh, even if I make code dot microbit dot org, I will just uh, paste it into your chat. OK, so uh, if you don't have a, I mean, if you are using your phone, even with the phone also, you can 
go to your phone browser and uh, right, type it. Okay. Right, makecode.microbit.org. Right. Then uh, you can start a new project here. From this, you can start a new project. Okay. Then you can give your project a name. <clears throat> you can give project one or pro one or whatever you like. You can give it a name. Okay, your project. Then you can press this create button. Okay. Now uh, this is the interface of your uh, coding area. So you have a, a simulator here. That means virtually you can see what happens. If you don't have a micro bit, don't worry. You can program everything here and you can see it from this board. OK, so here uh, just like scratch we have, uh, we can use blocks to program it. And if you are interested in Java, you can use Java also. So you can, uh, I mean, go to this one. So you need to uh, type your, uh, um, I mean, you have to type your program if you are using Java. But this is very easy for us. That's why we are using blocks. OK, but if you are interested, you can use this one also. You can convert it into a JavaScript. OK, right. So with blocks, you have some basic blocks, right? And input. So with this input blocks, what we can do is uh, you can uh, <clears throat> select the button, which button with the which button press we can uh, program our um, micro bit. OK, so if I'm going to press A, so you have to take this one on button A pressed, then what will happen? Then you can change it on button B press, what will happen? So we'll do some examples, then you can understand, right? So the first code is we are going to uh, display the a class now this is ICT grade 8 but we will write ICT <clears throat> grade 9 okay we will uh, write that uh, for before that what I want you to do is here I have this microbit classroom okay uh, with this I can see all your um, all your codes okay so right now can you, uh, I will uh, just uh, send you this URL, right? This one. Can you join with this one? Everybody, uh, I will uh, send this to your chat, right? Can you I'm join? Done. Yes. Just click this URL, but I'm uh, sending you. Is it coming as a URL? So uh, just uh, type this uh, on your, I mean, screen. Microbit dot. ORG slash join. Can you write? Did you uh, go to this uh, URL? Yes, right. Ma okay, then you will get a, a classroom name. For the classroom name, you have to select this. You have to select silver, then rabbit, then sailboat, and sunglasses. Okay. Silver, rabbit, sailboat, and sunglasses. Can you select those things in order to join this classroom? And the pin is here. You can see 726116. Seven two six one one six. Huh? What, what, what is it? Did you manage to join this URL? Microbit.org slash join. Then you have to select these things silver, rabbit, sailboat, sunglasses. Okay, then pin is 726. I did my join. 116. Okay. Right. Okay. Now I'm going to um, 
code here so you will also code there okay then right i can see so yes enuka is there sasiru shafir shenetra so i what about the others so you can join here i can see your then i i can see your programs review is there so you if you are programming i can uh, see it okay achatu is there dinuka quickly join okay sasiru sanitu okay so right good so i will just uh, keep it here until you join quickly join the class so uh, the classroom name is silver rabbit sailboat and sunglasses okay pin is Okay, then shall we start? Okay, yeah. right. So I will go to my editor. Right now you have to do uh, what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, we will start with the basics. Okay, right. So yes, now, now. So I can see here in my uh, this uh, website or in with this website, I will see your uh, things, right? What you are doing. Madam, yes. Madam, what is the color? Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. I will show it again. Silver. Silver mm -hmm. rabbit sailboat sunglasses. Silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses. Dot. Mm -hmm. Microbit yes. dot org slash join. Okay. No, I can. Okay, then silver rabbit mm -hmm. sailboat sunglasses. Mm -hmm. And the pin is no man names match some yeah, microbit microbit org slash join. Okay, yes. that is the URL. Mm -hmm. Then classroom name is silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses. I will send, send a screenshot to your WhatsApp group. Okay. Madam. Yes. Madam, the name I can't pull out. Can I? No. I can't. No. Three words less than three letters. Kill. Can I? Madam, I want to make a name. I can't put. Madam, no matches. Kill. Madam. Sansan a new name. No. New name. Kill. Got. Tiyan. Have. Tte. Name. You have classroom name. Is it the classroom name or your name? Madam, your name is A.K. Hapatthi Tino New Username Kye Laga. Hey, come on. Ah, yes. Okay, Sansana. Madam, project name is Classroom name. Silver Rabbit Sailboat Sunglasses. I will try to send this to you. Fact. Yes, I have sent it to your chat. Huh? You can just check it. Okay, right. So we will go to the editor. Right, those who have. So let's see who are here. Chatu Padinet, Vinuka Dule, Nenuka, Musafa, Minidu, Riviru, Sansan is there, Sapumal, Sasindu, Sasiru, Shafir, Shenet, Tarindu, Yasita, Pawan, Tribe. Sunny to be both right now. Uh, here, you know. So, if you are uh, unable to just watch it, 
then you can do it later, right? So in this editor, take your editor, okay? Right, then we will uh, program our first one. So what you are going to do is, <clears throat> first you get this input, okay? Click on input and on button A press, take this one. And on button A press, I'm going to display. So click on the basic show string. We will write grade nine ICT. Okay, grade nine ICT. Do it first. Do it first. Okay. Right. And then after that, uh, take another input. I phone a king balanda. Call the Katibia Pimang Evalati and Naka chat together. URL Lega microbit.org slash join. Then this silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses. This one I have sent it to the, uh, um, I mean, uh, Teams chat. Just check it out. Then I remember. Ah, okay. Now uh, anybody has finished? Ah, in Lucas one. I mean, fine. Your name, what to do? Uh, madam. Yes, I can see madam, your. For some reason, I can't change hello. Uh, hello from uh, to grade nine. ICT in show string. Plus zero. Let's look at your one. Ah, you have hello still, no? Yeah, you madam, I can't change it. it. I don't know click why. On it. Madam, so it can... brings up the keyboard and it uh, takes it down. I don't know. Ah, you just uh, click on the I mean minimize button and uh, do it again. Minimize and maximize and try to maximize your browser and maximize it and try it again. I can see all of your codes, huh? Yeah. Okay, so you have done it, no? Okay. Right, now let's take another one. Oh, Tarindu has taken the other one also. So, with the button B press, okay? With the button B press, we will uh, um, show your name, okay? Then show string uh, your name. Madam, I will write my name so you can write your name. It's yes, not. Madam, yes. Team ah, yes, I will show it again. Uh, this is the pin is seven two six one one six seven two six one one six. Thank you. Okay, now let's see your codes. Okay. Dinet, what about your other one? Chatupa, Chatupa, yes. Do the next one also, your name with the button B press, okay? Okay. Keshan, do the next one, Keshan, your name. You suffer on the way. Can you tell the pin number? Mini Dua, you are you have taken a huh? pin number. Okay. Seven two six one one six. Okay. Seven two six one one six. Okay. Let's see. Madam. Right. Uh, yes. You have taken another one also, Mini. Review. Okay. Sunny to what have you done? Did you erase them all? Sapumal, do the other one. Okay. Tafi, you have to do the next one also. Okay. Madam button A. Madam button A. K. Gahanoni, madam. Nine A. I C T. Kilad. Yes, nine ICT, grade nine ICT. Ma, we Buddha, you haven't typed it, no? Ah, do it quickly. Okay, then I will go to the pin number is screenshot. Uh, yes, uh, yes, take a screenshot. I have sent a screenshot to your chat in oh, that. Seven two six 
116. Okay, 726116. Then we'll go to the next one. Okay, then the next one is I'm going to press both the buttons A and B together. A and B together. And I'm going to display uh, some lights, whatever the lights you can hear, A any lights you like, okay? Any pattern you can use, okay? So that is up to you to choose the pattern, okay? Right? So don't worry if you don't have, a, um, I mean, this board at home, what you can do is you can use this simulator here uh -huh. in the uh, left side of your uh, program. So just click it and you can see. So I'm going to press button A, then you will see grade nine ICT. Just click and see, okay? Then when you press the button B, you will see your name. Okay, then if you want to press both the buttons together, you don't, you can't do it. I mean, really, you can't do it. Uh, so you have a separate button here. So can you, yes, so if you uh, press this, you will get the one you have done. So let me see your ones. Okay. All right. Enuka. Aknula. What about the other ones, Aknula? Do the other ones also? Chatup, uh, okay. The same thing. You can have an, uh, other things, okay? Uh, for your LEDs, you can have different ones. Huh? Not, not my one. Okay, Dineti is still doing. Inuka has finished. Okay, Keshan. Good. Musafa is still doing. You need to in progress, I can see. Uh, you have... might show you that hmm? You can't join to that uh, It shows classroom name of English incorrect. Uh, what, what is the message that is appearing? Classroom name of English incorrect. Madam Power, share the cup, Madam, then classic Davi. Yes. Uh, now, uh, can you Madam, try to join again? Uh, now we are we are joining an online, uh, I mean, uh, classroom here. So, uh, is it Basita? So you can join here. Yes. Because, yes. So try to. Uh, I have sent it to your chat also. Just type this URL in your computer: microbit.org/join. And you will, uh, they will ask for a classroom name. Then you have to uh, type, how to select this silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses. And the pin is also there. I have sent it to your chat. Just check it and uh, join. Right. Uh, okay. Madam, I did the other one. What should I do now? Madam, I can't join. Sasi. Okay, you have a small one there. Then uh, Sansana. What about Sansana? What are, where, where are the others? Sairu. Sairu, you have to make the other codes also. Shashendra. You have done. Please switch off your mics. Huh? Otherwise, Shashendra. Okay, what about the button B press? I mean, Shenetra, button B press. Yes, madam. Okay, you have, did you uh, do button B press? Yes, madam. I can but see A, a plus and B. A, a plus B. Yes, madam. Only, only these two? Where's button, only button B? Tarindu, okay. Themia. Themia is still doing. Okay, quickly, yeah. Let's see the Buddha's. Madam, may link you click on the madam. Any madam new project in the madam over no? No, 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 no. no. It, it, it doesn't come as new project, no? Uh, it asked you to join a class. Microbit.org slash join. 
what did you type? You have to type this one and eh? not the previous one I sent. Uh, this one microbit.org slash join. Then you have to type, I mean, this select silver rabbit sailboat and sunglasses. And pin is 726116. Okay. Try again. Madam, what should we do on button B press? Button B press, uh, your name. Tamia, you haven't done anything, no. Quickly, huh? Madam, I think you click on it. You, you, did you type it in your browser? Are you using a, a computer? Are you using a computer? Madam, tablet. Uh, then take a browser and type. Okay. Um, it has written a lot of things. No, all uh, right. Uh, type in your browser microbit.org slash join. Type that microbit.org slash join. Okay, Chatupa, okay. Then Pawan. Madam, I can't type anything. Hmm? What is it? I can't hear you clearly. Okay, so I, I can't type anything, madam. You can't? Type where? Type. Yeah. Uh, maybe uh, yes, just, um, I yeah. mean, minimize yeah, it. it. Try yeah. again. Minimize it then. Uh, try, uh, um, try it again. Maximizing. Try it again. Then you will be able to. Sometimes it happens. Okay, Basita. Did you get Madam, it? Where is it? Type a link here. Uh, I just asked you to type it, right? microbit.org slash join. Can you see it in my screen? This one, microbit.org slash join. Okay. Then when you get the site, you will have to uh, enter the classroom name, silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses. And after that, you have to enter this pin, 726116. Okay. All right. Then those who have finished can uh, <clears throat> do a new one. Okay. So what you can do is you can, <clears throat> uh, did you down check this out? Uh, everything, you, you did you check them out? With your, I mean, the simulator, you have to check them out huh, if they are working. Right. Next thing is we are going to uh, input is shake on shake. Okay. On shake, you are going to uh, show some uh, things. So what you are going to do is, right, I will show you. Right. On shake. Now these are the things you have to make. Right. On shake, you have to show some LEDs. And on screen up also, you have to say, uh, show some, uh, some more patterns. And on screen down, you have to uh, show any of the patterns you like. So on shake, on screen up, and on screen down. So these are the things that you have to do next. Those who have finished. Okay, those who have finished. On shake. And on screen up and on screen down. Okay. Madam classroom name with our work and blend. Okay, wait. Uh, mm. Silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses. 
silver rabbit sailboat sunglasses pin is 7261167 Okay, did you manage to get in? Was it okay? Okay, madam. All right, type your name and now start uh, coding. So by, with the button A press, you have to show string grade 9 ICT. Then with the button B press your name. Okay, then A plus B you can. Madam, my name does not match. Who is this? Madam, what should we do on on shake? On shake, any any um, I mean any pattern, LED pattern, anything you want, ah, uh, you can be very creative. Who did ask the question now earlier? Um, me, Madam Sasiru. Sasiru. Yes. Oh, Sasindu. Sasiru. Yes, Madam. What is it? Ah, oh, yes, you have done it. Okay, so you can. Madam, local numbers. Ah, now you can take your editor, right? Take your editor, and you can. Uh, do you, did you get something like this? Me mage ka kamuna. Did you get something like this? Yes. Now you can uh, make programs for button A. Then for button B, then for button A plus B, right? Now we are doing shake on shake. We can when we are shaking the micro bit, uh, we can program it. What will happen? Okay. Then uh, Sayuru. Sayuru on shake. What about on shake? Okay, on shake, you are going to play a melody, Shafir. Hmm, that's good. So you can use anything you like. Huh? Shashendra, what happened to you? Where are your codes? Hmm? I can't see any. Did you delete them? Shashendra? Yes, ma'am. Ah, from the beginning. Okay. Let's see, Shenetras. Okay. Yes, you can play a melody also, but uh, with the micro bit. Madam, yeah. my on shake is like frozen. I don't know why. I can't even touch anything. Let's see. On shake, right? So you just have to now uh, draw your pattern on this LED. Madam, I can't. It doesn't work. Uh, because of a network issue, I think, because we are working together, no? So just minimize and do, try it again. Minimize and open it again and try it. Okay, then Tarindu. Uh, uh, yes, Tarindu has finished, no? Screen up, screen down and uh, shake. Okay. Screen in. So this is a good way so I can uh, see what you are doing. Just like in the classroom. OK, so Yasita, you are on your way. On shake, then on screen up and on screen down. Those things also you have to do. Now you have. Uh, Put repeat five times also. Mm. Okay. Then we are going to do something like this. So repeating on shake. Okay. Shuhai. Aknula. Aknula, what about your programs? I had made. I now you are making the other ones. Did you erase them? Uh, let's see Basita's one. No, madam. Uh, okay, Basita, yeah, you are on your way now. Okay. Right. So on shake, you can put here any block you like. Huh? Okay, then uh, Sansan. Okay, 
Sansana, you need yes, to do the other ones also. Huh? On Shay. Madam, phone ke madam karane. Ah, it's very slow. Okay, just try it. Eh? Now later madam, when you when we finish the classroom, you can. If you are using your phone, if it is difficult. Madam, my name is. Yes. So you can do it after the class. Eh? You can always check the video and who's this Sasiri? Who's Sasiri? Is it Sasiru? Uh, Sasiri Kila. No, madam, that's not me. Sasiru. Uh, okay. <laughs> right. Madam, that's not me. My, na uh, my name is correct in the. Uh, okay. The okay. Okay. Themia, you have to do the other ones. Huh? Uh, Thamia, this one you have. Thamia, we have a lot of Thamias here. Okay. Right. So do it. Huh? The other parts. Okay. So uh, we did this uh, one and uh, shake. And the next thing is what you have to do. Uh, right. We will go to this next one. Uh, now this forever block. You can take this forever. Those who have finished. Uh, this forever block and the uh, pause button. Now I mean pause block you can take. Okay, so that means you can take this uh, forever block can uh, inside it put an LED and after that you have to pause a few seconds. Pause like 100 milliseconds and then after that again another led right so you have to draw patterns here draw the patterns you like uh, anything then again pause 100 milliseconds okay then you can put another one after that okay so you can draw another one here so what will happen is it will go on and on like this in your um, simulator. You can see that is the forever loop. So if you put it inside a loop, you can, uh, I mean, uh, display it uh, again and again. You will see it right? like this. So do the forever um, loop also this one. Let's see your codes then. Basita, take the forever uh, loop and try it. Okay, Chatupa has done no. Dinit. Uh Dinit do the forever uh, block. Okay, Dinuka. You can uh, change your I mean these LEDs uh, in whichever way you like. I know how to get the pause. Ah, uh, that is in uh, here in your basics here. Pause milliseconds here in this blue color ones. You have it. Pause hundred milliseconds. Okay, like that. Okay, Malindo. Malindi, you can uh, put some more. Huh? Oh, yes, you are doing now. We need to finish. Okay, right. When you, you have finished, I think you are there's a button to press finish. No, is there something like that? Madam, I pressed it and it says, Congratulations, you have finished. Ah, yes. Sign out. 
Yes, no need to sign out. Wait, eh? so we have okay, and I'm going to check those finished ones. Okay, this is a very good way to uh, see you. your work. Okay. Um, very much a sign out. Okay, it's okay. Anyway, uh, Aknula, what about this? I can see only one. Where are your other other quotes? Do you erase them? No, that's not me, but ah, uh, that's not you. Then who is that? Ah, uh, this is you, no? All uh, right. But... So we will just we will still delete that one, no? Okay. So uh. Then you finished. Okay. About Basita. Basita, did you uh, try this with the forever loop? Okay. Just try them that out forever one. Like this. Then you finished. Okay. Right. Good. Now I'm going to, uh, I mean, uh, <clears throat> download the report though, so I can uh, check this later, right? I will download a report of uh, all of your work, right? So I will show you the actual one then, okay? Right, so I have uh, for this one, okay. What does it say? We send you a code. I can't I hear you. I am reviewing, madam. Uh, yes. It says, madam, failed to, fail to send you a code. Uh, it says failed to send you a code. That means because of this network error, you may getting that. Okay. That means I can't see it. Okay, madam. Uh, just try to, um, so I, I can see the things you have done earlier, right? Because you may having a connection issue. Okay. Right, anyway, I have uh, these things that you have okay. done earlier. Okay, right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the actual micro bit. Uh, I think some of you have them. Did you buy them? Yes. Did you try to buy one? No, you didn't. OK, then uh, shall we just. Uh, I will just show you. Uh, Oh my, um, uh... Madam, the class finished. I mean, then just give me a second, eh? Just give me a second. We are going to. I'm going to show you um, the actual one. Okay. Can you see uh, this? Uh, can you see a video? Can you all see a video? Yes, madam. Okay, right now this is the actual micro bit. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download my code. Now just see how this light blinks when it downloads, okay? So did you see the blinking light? Now my code is uh, downloaded. So right, right, so with the button A press, you should see the grade 9 ICT. 
Okay, that is what I programmed. Grade nine ICT. Okay, then with the button B press, I programmed it to uh, display my name. Madam, okay. and with the Madam, pen and micro bit together. Okay, now. Madam, yatta thagan, madam bunda paatha thagan my camera ke paatha thag. Now is it okay? Is it too big? Dakuno paatha thagan madam. Ah okay now okay madam. Madam now okay madam. Okay. Madam, okay, madam, okay, did now... you get that microwave? Yeah, I ordered this online eh, from Daras. Ah. So with the both of the buttons, so you can press the buttons together. Right, A and B together. So this is what I program, right? So this is very easy. Now if you have, if I have programmed uh, this uh, forever one, so that means I can, uh, uh, show a uh, display uh, that is uh, repeating again and again right so i will uh, just okay um, just wait i'm going to add some um, blocks here okay and i'm going to download it just check the just see the uh, blinking lights and I'm downloading, okay? Right, now I'm going to download this. Okay, now look at my program. Now this is the one I made, just two uh, lights, okay? So you can have anything you want, okay? So you can have anything you want. You can, uh, I mean, show uh, any, uh, um, I mean, this uh, here, okay. So I'm um, going download the next one. Just a simple one, okay. So you can do a lot of things with this. Okay, these are some of the simple things that you can do. Right. 